Hello everyone! For today we have a more serious topic. And if you happen to be on Twitter in the past few days, I'm sure you are already aware of it. The great debate about one of our new special weapons, the Splatacon screen. To get this video started and everyone on the same boat, I'll use the thread written by Noodle Arms. And she wrote. First of all, I would like to preface that I don't play competitive. I'm a spectator who plays the game casually. I have sensitive hearing and my eyes are sensitive to bright lights. And I've been enjoying Splatoon days since its launch last year. From the get-go, I know screen would either be not very effective or annoying at best. But I never anticipated it to cause physical harm for me. The first time I was hit by the special in-game, the extreme brightness and fuzzy noise was very unhealthy for my senses. I felt slight eye strain, a sharp pain in my head, and my ears began to ring. The ringing in my ears persisted the most and affected my gameplay for nearly double the time the screen effect lasts. Running into it on repeated games, whether by accident or having to, made me sick. I've been overestimated by Splatoon 3 in the past, but has never been to a point where it made me feel physically ill. I've loved many things about this season, but I'm disappointed in Nintendo for letting what is basically a spit in the face towards people like me in this game. That's the point of this special. How much you're affected by it varies on how sensitive you are to the effects. Besides, it shouldn't be so effective to the point where it makes you sick. Just don't go through it. Screen is a displacement special that is comparable to Inkstorm. It takes up a huge chunk of space and moves up for a while without the opponents being able to destroy it. The difference between Storm and Screen though is that I'm not being discouraged because it's a disadvantaged position. I'm being discouraged because it makes it harder for me to sit through a whole match. I can still be forced into moving through it too. Lower the brightness volume to compensate for screen. And when screen isn't in play, I'm at full disadvantage because I might not be able to see or hear things clear enough, just to compensate for an effect that attacks my senses for 9 seconds. There are multiple accounts of other experiencing similar physical harm from the special too. I'm not a rare case. Screen takes accessibility away from people with sensory issues and as a result it's being banned in multiple competitive settings. The competitive scene is choosing to be more inclusive towards its player base is a good thing. Nobody should have to quit comp over something only Nintendo can control. If you really want your fall squeezer in competitive, be vocal about this issue towards Nintendo. I really hope Splatter Cutter Screen gets patched to be much less aggressive very soon. I think the idea for the special has its merit, but was implemented very poorly. On that note, please be mindful towards players with disabilities when discussing Screen. I and others who suffer from similar sensory issues who are vocal about this just want to enjoy the game. A special shouldn't take that away from us. So the urgent point in this situation is the following. The way the screen is designed, upon impact it does two things. First, it turns your entire vision into a simple grayscaling, and second, you'll hear a static noise in the process. Let me give you a close look once again. For me personally, these effects play a minor role. In in-game, I'm fairly capable of dealing with and under these impacts. But can I speak for everyone just from my perspective? No. People with hypersensitive eyes and ears or have any other specific medical conditions, as we've been introduced to earlier, are much more influenced by the special weapons design. I can fully understand and respect that, and so does a big part of the community. This leaves us with one question. How do we deal with this situation now? There are multiple ways to engage this topic on the side of the Splatoon community. The first option is to straight up ban the screen and get rid of it for competitive matches. 
This is a harsh treatment, but given it would, as of now, just take two weapons out of the pool, that being the Undercover Bella and Squeezer, that's quite okay. Option number two, which I personally find a better solution, is to add a section in our tournament rule sets that allow for specific agreements to be made in cases of involved players struggling with the special. And you know what? We are already seeing first adjustments being made. Sendo gave us an insight that on his website Sendo.inc, when playing Sendo Q, you will be able to select whether you wish to exclude the splatter color screen from the matches played. Besides that, we can just use our voice as a community and direct this topic to Nintendo, make them aware that this needs a second fine tuning. They could either implement another option, similar to color look, that makes both the visual and audio effects caused by the special appear slightly changed, or give it a rework entirely, making it more accessible to everyone. Nothing in a video game no matter what the intention of its creation was, should reach the level of its effects causing physical harm. As a fall squeezer player on the other side of the screen, quite literally, this debate first shook me. But as the majority of the community dealt with this pretty supporting, I have high hopes that we can effectively work this out. However, I still want to raise awareness that people on those two weapons featuring the screen are not to be jumped on, insulted or called ignorant, simply because they are playing it. We are just playing the game, not meaning to intentionally harm anyone, and for the public modes you won't be able to s restrict the usage anyways. So let them just play out the games and hope for Nintendo to react fast. Please let me know what you think of this. How should we deal with the splatter color screen? Thanks for watching and please be kind to everyone involved in this topic. These are the moments in which we gotta work together as one community. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.